TPC River Highlands, a highly anticipated day on the eve of the Travellers' Championship as PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monaghan is set to address the media in about 20 minutes' time at 1 p.m. with significant announcements regarding the future of the PGA Tour and professional golf in response to the Live Golf Series. So, Rx Hoggard has seen the memo and here are the talking points. We're looking at eight current events which will see substantial purse increases. They're creating a three-event international series starting in the fall of 2024. They'll be returning to a calendar year schedule, so that season end to that wraparound season, and there will be a new playoff structure where the top 70 in the FedEx standings qualify for playoffs, and the top 50 at the end of the playoffs will be eligible for that global series. So with that, let's welcome in the man himself, Rex. Uh, good to see you. I know you've had a few minutes to sort of digest this memo. What immediately stood out to you? I think the purse increases, you just touched on it. It's $54 million more in purse increases at all of the significant events. It starts in Maui at the Century Tournament of Champions. It's the Arnold Palmer Invitational, Memorial Match Play, St. Jude's. I think this touches on exactly what the commissioner talked about yesterday in the player meeting. George mentioned that earlier in the telecast. And the other half is those three international series events that will be played in the fall. Again, the idea is it's going to be a limited field event, no cut, big purses. What you're trying to do is reward the top players a little bit more. I guess the one thing that stands out to me from the entire memo is how they're going to handle eligibility going forward. And this was always going to be the tricky part of this scenario. So going forward, it's going to be similar to what we have right now. The top 125 off the FedEx Cup regular season points list will still have status going into the next year. However, that status is going to be up in the air. So essentially what's going to happen is the top 70 will, will now qualify for the playoffs, and that starts with the 70 and then works its way backwards to the top 50 for the BMW Championship and then top 30 like we've had for the Tour Championship. What happens after that is everyone else outside of that top 70 reign is going to have to scramble and make sure that they finish inside that top 125. Whereas before, if you made it to the playoffs, you were guaranteed a job the next season. That looks like it's not necessarily going to be the case, which is going to add a little bit to the fall. And it's also probably going to make it a little bit harder for players to make sure that they have secured their status before those playoffs come up. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a, an obvious question, Rex, but we're going to be seeing some significant purse increases in eight regular season events mm -hmm. uh, in, in the season. Where is this money coming from to finance these higher purses? That's interesting because I actually received texts from two players this morning who knew this was coming, and that was their question. Where did this money come from? I just mentioned it's $54 million at face value in purse increases across those eight events, and that's not counting the three events in the fall. Now, the memo specifically states sponsor support is behind this as well as operating reserves. The memo points out that those operating reserves are only a short-term solution. So I think there's going to be more questions, both from the media and the membership, as exactly where this money is coming from. And Rex, just finally, do you think these moves are enough to sort of stop the momentum that we're seeing from the rival golf tour at the moment? I think what we've seen in recent weeks is players who we have thought have been leaning towards live golf, they're going to head in that direction anyway. I'm not quite sure this is going to change anyone's mind. What it will probably do is take the established top players right now, and we know who those players are who have pledged their loyalty to the PGA Tour. It starts at Rory McIlroy and Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas and all of the top players that we know have been vocal about this, and it gives them a reason not to look in that direction. And I think it's a good first step for the PGA Tour and Jay Monahan to get out front and finally punch back on this situation.